Hello all, today I will show you how to add World Camera Shake to your player's camera in the world through Blueprints. Let's jump in. Alright, in our content drawer we will create three assets. I'll right click, say New Blueprint Class, of type Actor. We'll call this BP underscore Camera Shake Actor. I'll right click, New Blueprint Class. I will search camera shake and it will create one of camera shake base. I'll select. And I'll call this CS for camera shake. Simple shake explosion. I'll right click one more time. We'll create a, Ni a Niagara system. I'll do a system from selected emitter. I'll scroll down to an omnidirectional burst. I'll hit the plus sign, then hit finish. I'll call this ns underscore explosion burst. What we are going to do to illustrate this effect is we are going to create a small trip mine that explodes when the player overlaps it. First, we'll create the Niagara system. I'll double click. We're going to make this very simple. I'm going to do a spawn burst instantaneous. I'll change this number to 1000. I will go to add velocity from point and I will change this to 50, uh, negative 50, so that it shoots upwards. And I will change gravity force to negative 490, which is half of gravity. And then in initialize particle, where it says color, I'll click this downwards arrow and say random range linear color. And I will select two colors, and this will make the particles that it spawns uh, have an RGB value between these two colors. So if I make it, you know, sort of orange and red, you'll see here that the particles will all be, you know, sort of between those two values. I'll compile and I'll save. Next, I'll create my camera shake values. In my content drawer, I will click on my camera shake asset I've created, double click, and on the right where it says root shake pattern, I'll click where it says none, and I like the Perlin noise camera shake. That's what I'll use in this example. You can always use the wave oscillator or the sequence camera shake pattern. I use the Perlin noise the most though. So I'm going to drop down all three of these values. You'll see that it has an amplitude and a frequency for both the location, rotation, and field of view. Basically this is saying how far from the root do I want to move the camera, the, the camera's root, and then at what frequency. So I'm going to use the following values. I'm going to use 150 and 1 frequency. I'm going to do 10 rotations, so it'll have a max of 10 degrees, positive or negative. And then in field of view, I'll say 25. And I will make this 2 seconds long with a very quick blend in of 0.05 and a blend out of 1. So that it has an aggressive start and then fades out after 1 second because it's frequency, each of these values should happen two times in this two second time span. Okay, now let's open our blueprint. I'll control space to open up the content drawer and I will double click my camera shake actor. I will add three components. I will add a sphere. I will add a cylinder. I will add a sphere collision. And by default, it's parenting all these to the sphere. I'm going to drag it onto the sphere, or onto the default scene root, and say attach to remove that. And so I'm going to rename sphere one collision. This is our collision sphere. So when we overlap it, that's when we're going to say that an event has happened. So I'm going to change this radius to 100. I'm going to change the cylinder, which is this to point to and I'm going to unclick this lock right in here so I can make it asymmetrically scaled. I'm going to select my sphere and make it I'm going to I am going to hit the lock for this so it scales symmetrically. I'm going to say 0.75. I'm going to attach the sphere to the cylinder in the components panel on the left. And now I'm going to scale this down to about point to the cylinder. So this is going to be our little trip mine. I'll select um, our 
cylinder and I'll search metal. And I'm going to use some starter material starter materials. I'll select my sphere as well. Let's see if we can find a different metal. So we have our little trip mine. I'll compile and I'll save. Now let's add some code in my event graph. I will take my collision sphere. I'm going to right click, say add event on component, begin overlap. And out of the other actor, I will say cast to character. Make sure when you're casting, you are casting to C++ classes. It will save your memory in the long run. And I will say, if it is a character, I'm going to play world camera shake. I drag this in here. And I'm going to get my simple shake explosion camera shake. I'm going to use the magnifying glass up here to select it in the browser. I'll go back to my blueprint and use the arrow here to select that. You know, I can also just go here and do that. I could search it, but I like to do it that way. I'm going to get the cylinder center by saying, by pulling it off my components panel, saying get world location, dragging this value into here at the epicenter. The inner radius, I will keep at zero. The outer, I will make 1000. So within 1000, you will uh, feel this camera shake. And I will say orient shake towards epicenter. Then I will pull off here and say spawn system at location and use the same location that I used here. The asset type, I'm going to select my Niagara system. And I will put it here with the gray arrow. And then I'm going to say destroy actor, drag in here. And so what will happen in this chain of logic is that when something overlaps this sphere, it will test, is this a character? If it is a character, it's going to add this camera shake that we've created. It's going to spawn this sort of explosive effect, and then it's going to destroy, destroy this actor so that it can only explode once. Let's test this out in our environment. In my environment, I will take my blueprint and I will drag a few into my play space. I'm duplicating by holding alt and dragging the left uh, mouse. So I'm going to right click and I'll say play from here. We should see that when I overlap, it will do a, a little explosion effect and it will do a camera shake as if the trip mine has exploded. I encourage you to mess around with those values and the camera shake as you like. Experiment with the sequencer and wave oscillator to get something that you like. But this is the basics of how you would implement a world camera shake in your blueprint. Thank you all for watching and have a great day.